Wow. Thanks. Hola there, my beautiful, beautiful friends. Welcome back to another delicious week of intuitive eating. My mouth is on fire. Nourishing our bodies with flavorful and fun food can increase our quality of life. So let me bring you along on this delicious week of food where I don't sacrifice <laughs> flavor or fun to be healthy and happy. Before we start the video, I just wanna let you know that if you scroll down to my description box and click that link, it'll bring you to this page, to my cookbook. And you can buy my cookbook either using PayPal or your credit card. And when you do so, you will get a downloadable PDF copy sent to your email address that will look like this. And then you have access to 55 plus vegan recipes that all have an accurate photo representation of them. Hope you enjoy. I didn't, rep I didn't press record and I just made a super pretty bowl. <sighs> I think in this day and age, most of us are running low on time and we just need something fast and delicious to have for breakfast. Some pre-made granola, some frozen berries, a piece of chocolate, some coconut yogurt. These are going to be your best friends, that's for sure. After a bit of a hike on this day, I decided to make a big old stir fry with these big thick noodles that I have never had in my entire life and I could not wait to try them. Spoiler alert, they sucked and I will never ever ever buy them again. They were gross and I probably just didn't make them right but uh, if they aren't easy to make then I don't really want to include them in my life <laughs> very often anyways. <laughs> So I just made a quick sauce for my stir fry with some fresh orange juice, sriracha, miso paste, rice vinegar, and a couple little sprinkles of sugar as well, just to balance out the flavor. We got a lot of richness and a lot of intense flavors in that, so adding a touch of sweetness to also brighten up the orange was great. Once we got some frozen veggies into our pan, I started cooking these noodles, which, um, I didn't read the instructions for it, to be completely honest. You're supposed to soak them and rinse them and it's like a whole ordeal just to make some noodles. I ended up boiling them for 25 minutes and they were still rock hard in the middle. So <sighs> after we got our whole stir fry mixed together, I plated up a couple bowls, topped it off with some sesame seeds and as you saw, I put some green onion in the pan before I plated it, drizzled it with some sesame seed oil, and then enjoyed, sort of. <laughs> Thank you so much to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. AG1 by Athletic Greens is my absolute go-to way to kick off the day or fuel my body in all of my favorite activities like hiking and skiing or running, which I know is not everyone's favorite activity, but I don't mind it. With so many incredible benefits, it never fails to boost my energy, get my body ready to move and groove throughout the day, and just feel great overall. With the best ingredients sourced from around the globe, Athletic Greens takes great care to ensure high quality ingredients are in every single bag of AG1, and you never have to worry about the potency. The fact that Athletic Greens has this one ride or die product is so honorable in my eyes. They've been a company for 12 years and could have easily quote unquote widened their horizons to so many other health products but they've taken their time, 52 iterations of the product to be exact, to formulate one amazing product that contains 75 vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, adaptogens, probiotics, whole food sourced ingredients, just an amazing bag of goodness that you can have inside of your home and you can put inside of your body every single day. It's so easy, one scoop inside of a water bottle, shake it up, eight to 12 ounces of water, and you are good to go for the day. When I say I feel a difference taking this product, it's not part of a script. I absolutely love this product so very much. I've been taking it for about a year. I notice a world of difference in my skin health, gut health, cognitive health, and sometimes when I'm craving that midday coffee, which I all know we do because we are human, I instead reach for AG1 to just give my body a little extra kick. 
It not only helps in the areas that I just mentioned, but aids in recovery and supports immunity. I give it to all of my friends and loved ones any chance that I get because I want them to feel the amazing benefits that AG1 has. What are your honest thoughts of AG1 now that I've made you try it? Um, It's surprisingly good for something that's got so much health in it. It's crazy you can just add water to it and drink it like juice. Nice. And not so surprisingly, every single person that I've given the product to has loved it. And yes, they are today's sponsor, but after taking it for a year, I sincerely cannot see my life without it. So I highly, highly recommend this damn good freaking product to you, my friends. And if you want to give it a try, you can click that link down in my description box. And with your first purchase, you will get five free travel packs, which are so great to take on adventures like hiking and skiing, running, or great to travel with as well. And you will also get a one year supply of vitamin D3 K2 with your first purchase. Again, click that link, give Athletic Greens AG1 a try. I am just promising you, you will not regret it. Thank you so much, Athletic Greens, for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get on with the food. Yeah, that was the one. Pretty cool. Mm, extra wide vermicelli. Oh, it's vermicelli. They're rice noodles. Sweet potato. Sweet potato? Mm-hmm. How are they so transparent? I thought it looked like they're in three Mmm. No conversation with my noodle in your mouth. <laughs> As you could tell, biting into those noodles was the most difficult thing of life. Not actually, but just to over dramatize it, let's just say of life. And they were like wormy, like I was eating let's just let's move on for dinner we're going to make a big old curry chopping up some onion ginger garlic celery and some chilies got some oil olive oil olive oil into a pan <laughs> heated up my whole mixture there other than the chilies seasoned it with some salt and then added some tofu to that just to kind of warm it up and get the spices infused or the flavors infused into the tofu along with a whole array of spices that I will list up here on the screen somewhere. A can of coconut milk, a can of veggie stock, some black pepper, just stirring that all together and letting it do its thing for a hot minute, seasoning it with some soy sauce for a little bit more umaminess and saltiness, and then a couple tablespoons of peanut butter. Yes, stay with me guys, it makes it a little bit more creamy, a little bit nutty, it's just great. We're not trying to flavor it like peanut butter, but it just adds a little extra oomph to the curry. I can't properly explain it. Just give it a try. Trust me on this one. And let me know down in the comments how you like it. The next day, we are starting it off with some oatmeal. Oatmeal, having an easy bre breakfast, just in general, is going to help your mental health. And... <laughs> Also getting a good amount of protein, starting our days with a touch of protein is really, really valuable. I always find if I don't do that, I feel so shruggish, shruggish and uh, just like I'm carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders by noon and I don't want to feel like that. I also top this one off with some banana, flaxseed, walnuts, some chocolate, added some coconut yogurt, and drizzled it with maple syrup. Drizzles it with maple syrup. <laughs> I was feeling a little bit of a lazy lunch. So I'm just chopping up some herbs, some mint, and some cilantro. Yes, cilantro is not everyone's thing. I personally love cilantro. You can swap this out for some parsley or some basil. And for our dressing, we're mixing together some Dijon mustard, some pre-made pesto, a splash of white balsamic vinegar, mixing that together, some lemon juice, and I think I added a touch of water to it just to kind of, you know, get a little bit more watery. And I also had some leftover curry from the last night. 
Intuitive eating is not about making every single meal perfect or only eating cookies and waffles and pancakes. There is a balance to it all. There is a balance of trying to find what works for your schedule and your life and nourishing our bodies with foods that make us feel our best while still including fun foods and not saying no to going out with friends or saying no to someone inviting us over for dinner or offering us a piece of cake. Intuitive eating is about living your life and recognizing when you feel your best and when you don't feel your best. So take note, pay attention to yourself. Ask yourself, how am I feeling? Am I feeling this way because of the food that I'm eating? Am I not exercising? Am I exercising too much? Am I eating too little? Am I eating too much? Yes, these questions can be a little bit overwhelming, but our bodies have the answers. We have the answers. How do we feel after a meal? Do we feel like we want to crawl into a hole and fall asleep for 10 years? Or are we satisfied? Can we go and do a workout in 20 minutes? And this doesn't have to be for every single meal, but it should be for a majority of the meals that we nourish our bodies with. How do you really, how do you make it, you make it it's just like, seem like goop? It's just so sticky. Ew. <laughs> Getting to know our bodies takes time. So do not think that you can just wake up tomorrow and all of a sudden start eating intuitively with all of the senses in the world. It also takes a little bit of knowledge about the food that you're consuming. How much protein, how much nutrition does each thing have inside of it? And it doesn't have to be an exact, but a rough estimate, a rough understanding of what you are fueling your body with to help ourselves understand what we need. Started today off with some AG1 and then I made myself a piece of toast with some peanut butter and some hemp seeds and a very orange orange. This orange was the orangest orange I've ever seen. <laughs> Before a run with a friend, I made myself some oatmeal with some protein powder, warmed up some blueberries in the microwave just to melt them and get them out juicy and delicioso. Delicioso. That's a fun word to say. Added some peanut butter, my blueberries, and some flaxseed to it, and then drizzled it with a bit of maple syrup because I didn't add any sweetness other than blueberries, and I like, I like sweet oatmeal. I really hope you enjoyed that montage of cashew milk making and me just living my best life in the coziest clothes that I possibly own. When I got back from my run and a cold dip with my friend, I just needed to wear my puffy jacket for basically the rest of the day. <laughs> I chopped up a bunch of ginger, garlic, red onion, chilies, broccoli, and we are making a big old rice noodle stir fry. If you've been hanging out with me for a while, you know I love my rice noodle stir fries. They are just so freaking fun for one i think that's the most important thing rice noodle stir fry is just so fun and so enjoyable to eat i also wanted to add some protein to this so i added some tempeh tempeh is actually a fermented food it's fermented soybeans so it's the same ingredients as tofu but fermented and i didn't want to ruin the probiotic benefits of that so i just added it right to the end with my sauce and mix it all together and Oh, so freaking beautiful so beautiful that's literally all i have to say the colors the sauce all around 10 of the 10. <laughs> my mouth is on fire and i love spice so that says a lot Shoes. Does anyone else not buy Kleenex and only use toilet paper to blow their nose? Because, same. 
If it's good enough to go down there, then it's good enough to go on my face. That's my thought. <clears throat> I'm full. I will finish this shortly. Can I do this spicy, I always say this so wrong, uh, eganashi okay. and some edamame. And I'll do the, uh, where is it? The veggie combo. After a very work heavy day, I just felt the need to take myself out on a date wearing the coziest of clothes, not getting dressed up for it, just enjoying my time and being comfortable. Sometimes something has to give in our lives and if we are having a super busy, crazy day, then we need to give ourselves a little bit of a break. So fat, awesome. <laughs> So instead of spending hours in the kitchen trying to make dinner and walking around my roommates and doing the whole ordeal of trying to get some food into my body, I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna just not. I'm gonna take myself out. I'm gonna journal. I'm going to eat delicious food. And my friends, if you don't take yourself out on a date and enjoy your own company and sit with your thoughts every so often, I encourage you to do so. My journal is gonna be covered in sauce at the end of this. I wouldn't change it for the world. It's not awkward. It's not weird. You don't look lonely. You're not sad. You just need to spend some time with yourself. You need to think. You need to allow your brain to relax and take it easy on yourself. I felt so beyond refreshed after last night and to kick off the day, we were having a hot chocolate. I added cocoa powder, vanilla, maple syrup, some chaga mushroom powder, and frothing up some cashmoo cash milk. <laughs> a little bit later, I decided to make myself a coffee, and I've just been having single shots to lessen my caffeine intake a little bit, but still enjoy that cup of coffee that I love. I made it in my hot chocolate mug, so we get all the chocolatey goodness as well. We will put cashew milk instead of coffee. Stir, stir. So today I am actually going up to Whistler, BC to spend some time with my friend. She now lives in a tiny little mountain town 10 hours away from me even though we met in the summertime around Whistler area and I'm just excited to go and see her. I didn't want to spend too much time making myself breakfast because I kind of did have to go and do some work before I went. So just had some rice cakes with some peanut butter, hemp seeds, walnuts, some chocolate, of course, bananas, some dried mango, and an orange. Once we met up, we immediately went out to grab some ramen because it was lunchtime and we were hungry. This is my friend Jo. She also has a YouTube channel and you should check out her channel. She does a lot of van life and daily vlogs. She's just a wonderful soul. I also want to point out that sometimes we eat past our hunger cues. And this is not a bad thing. Sometimes we enjoy our food, so we keep eating our food. And should we do this all the time? No, but if you love what you're eating, sometimes it's okay to just eat because we enjoy it. After our ramen, we went out to grab some hot chocolate, went for a good old walk, and just enjoyed chatting with each other. We ran into this cutesy little vintage slash thrift store and got some goodies. I found these really cool sunglasses that I'm not showing you in this video, but you will see them one day, maybe on a island somewhere across the globe, drinking an espresso. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, maybe, sort of, kind of, possibly, you never know. Was it good? I'm hungry. Would you like it? Once I got back from seeing Joe, I went over to my friend's house and he fed me some dinner, just some roasted veggies, some rice, and a miso spicy sauce. The next morning, I made myself a coffee. These 
hand grinders are honestly so satisfying. They take 10 million years to get coffee inside of you, but they're fun. Mm. And one thing that I love about the espresso machine, espresso machine is the fact that I don't have to wait 17 years to it just to grind it yourself and to do the pour over. It's just a lot to get the coffee inside of you. And I don't always want to work that hard to get some caffeine inside of my body in the morning. Anyways, <laughs> I had some granola this morning with some banana and a chopped up orange. A little bit later for lunch, I made myself a Brussels sprout pasta. Yes, this is the best way to enjoy Brussels sprouts, in my opinion. So I sliced them up minced some garlic and also chopped up some kale. I'm starting this off with some tofu because I did not get enough protein in for breakfast and I needed a little kick, pep in my step to get myself going on this day. Crisped it up in some olive oil, got my veggies in there, got some pasta in the pot with seasoning it with some chili flakes, salt, pepper, and I forgot to add my garlic beforehand, but we eventually got it in there. <laughs> some vegan pesto and a splash of white balsamic vinegar. Once we were done, I plated it up and went outside to enjoy it in the sun. Getting a little bit of sun on your skin when you can just brightens your day a little bit, especially when you're struggling with your mental health. Hey, Happy birthday to So last night I went to a friend's little birthday get together and I had myself a slice of delicious chocolate peanut butter cake. I couldn't get any more footage of the cake because my phone was barely hanging on to life and then it she died. So it is what it is. For breakfast, <laughs> we are making ourselves a tofu sandwich. I'll mix, uh, I'll mix, I'll write <laughs> the ingredients for the sauce up on screen so that way you can screenshot it. On my toast, I'm adding some avocado, my tofu, and some ribboned carrot. Carrot that is ribboned is just the funnest way to eat carrot. I mixed it in with the leftover sauce that I had from my marinade mixture, topped it off with my other slice of bread, cut her down the middle slash side slash angled cut. What's your favorite way to cut a sandwich? I feel like everyone does it slightly differently and sometimes I cut it differently depending on how I feel, you know? Mm-hmm. I needed a little bit of saltiness and a little bit of spice. Now it's golden. Mm-hmm. I find anytime you put avocado on something, you have to add enough saltiness because you have to cut through that fat. It, fat and salt just go so well together. It's just a must. So I decided to go home and make myself a midday coffee because that's just exactly what I wanted to do. I have been obsessed with Americanos. They are just my vibe right now. I don't want a latte. I don't want a cappuccino. I just want Americanos. I had some dried mango and then went over to my friend's house <laughs> chopping up some onion, some garlic, some ginger. We are making a big pot of curry. It was kind of like, what do we want for dinner? I have no idea. What do we have in the house? Yeah, I guess we could make this type of vibe and I added all of those veggies into a pot along with some chopped up mushrooms, seasoned it with some salt, some pepper, adding some veggie stock and a can of coconut milk, having a little dance party in the background, you know. Once we got some better lighting in in the house, <laughs> we added some potato and some lentils, spicing it up with this spice mixture that is listed on screen, seasoning it with some more salt because trust me my friends, Adding enough salt to your dish will freaking enhance the flavors. Salt used to be one of my fear foods. And yes, you can have too much sodium in your life, of course. But was I eating too much sodium? No, I wasn't eating enough sodium. Wonder why I had headaches. And uh, I... <sighs> Moral of the story is your fo fear foods are not here to hurt you. You can enjoy them and you can have enough of them. And some of your fear foods may even be good for you. Like for me, salt. You need salt to survive. Breakfast is ready. Wow. I mean, I'm into it. Thanks. No! Done. Breakfast is 
served. Breakfast is served. <laughs> I honestly don't know when I made this breakfast. <laughs> But I had to include it because it's just such a cutesy, fun breakfast. A couple bananas and then slather them in some peanut butter, crumble some rice cake on them, and then you drizzle it with some chocolate. Legitimately, this is the best coconut yogurt. It's expensive, but worth it. On the side, I had some coconut yogurt and some granola and then made myself some, or made us a smoothie. Some frozen berries, chaga mushroom powder, some hemp protein powder, some hemp seeds, and... A banana. <laughs> and this banana was the most feisty banana and did not want to be blended if its life depended on it. I had to, I, even the tamp barely worked. Voila. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got some value out of it in some way or another. I'm sending you all so much love and please remember your bodies are something that's carrying you through this beautiful world. Take care of it. You only have one and you deserve to live your best life in this beautiful world and your best life depends on how you feel, not on how you look. Again, sending you so much love and I will see you again so very soon.